Hey everyone, so for today's project we will be making a DIY face mask. This particular one is called the Olsen mask and I will link it for you in the description box below where you can print the pattern out. For today I will be using this fabric. It is from one of my personal favorite TV shows called The Walking Dead. You can use, of course, whatever fabric you have. They do recommend using a tight woven cotton fabric. And these are all the pieces that we'll need. Our fabric, the pattern already cut out, and the instructions. So for this first part, this is going to be for the face. And this is going to be the part of the mask that you will see from the outside so if you have a pattern fabric like I do you just place the pattern where you would like the pattern fabric to show and just go ahead and trace it out and then cut it out I apologize this whole uh, video I could not find my pins so you could pin the fabric to the pattern and cut it out so you don't have to hold it down but okay so now that the two parts are cut out this is what I have and these other four pattern pieces there are six pattern pieces in total I'm going to cut out from this piece of craft fabric that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. They have this in multiple colors and I'm just going to do the same thing, trace it out and cut it out. Now it doesn't matter if you use a pin like I'm using here because there is a quarter seam allowance on each of the pieces so the pin mark is not going to show of course if you have a chalk pencil or something like that you are more more than welcome to use that So now that all of our pieces are cut out, the second step of the instruction says to sew the two face pieces together along side three. And all of the patterns you can see each side is numbered. So side three is the curved part of this pattern piece. So that's what we're going to sew together. So I'm going to place the right sides of each piece together so that the wrong side is facing outward on each piece of fabric. And I'm going to sew along side three, which is the curved side. Again, guys, the pattern will be linked for you in the description box below. I will also link the original video where the doctors who came up with this pattern not only make the pattern themselves, but they also go into more detail about how they came up with this pattern and ways that you can make this pattern in mass and help out our healthcare workers by providing them with this mask. We're going to move on to the second piece and so this is the two mouth pieces and the instructions say to sew them together at line three or side three I should say so all of the seam allowances are a quarter inch seam allowances so my sewing is a little rough it's been a while since I've <laughs> sewed I actually just bought this sewing machine so that I could make these masks. I need them for where I work and I don't want to wear the same one every day so I want to be able to wear one and then putting it in the washing machine 
and wear another for the mouth pieces the next thing they want us to do is to fold over side five and a quarter inch seam on side five on each side don't sew them together just fold down a quarter inch again I don't have my pins I have no idea where they are so I ended up just folding the seam over and then using an iron to help keep the seam down while I sew it in place so if you would like to make these masks and donate them to healthcare workers I'm sure they would greatly appreciate it Today's video is part one. Stay tuned for part two where I will show you not only how to make filters for these masks, but also how to make them conform to your face and how to create a tight seal all the way around to make them more effective. Okay, so this is where we are. We're going to move on to step five, where on cheek one and cheek two, we're going to fold down side six and sew down a quarter inch. Once again, they made it really easy. All of the seams on this pattern are a quarter inch. All right, so now we're gonna match cheek one and mouth one, and um, we're gonna sew them where they overlap. And this is the part of the inside of the mask that is going to form the pocket where you can slide the filter in and out. Now, if you noticed here, I put the mouth part over the cheek part the original pattern says to put the cheek part over the mouth part now it only matters because there's still a pocket that's formed where you can slide the filter in and out but i do say that if you follow the original pattern and put the cheek part on top of the mouth part once you flip it inside out it will be easier for you to put the filter in and out and you will see that at the end Nevertheless, we still have a little pocket where our filter can go. So now you want to take the face pieces that we sewed together earlier and the mouth and cheek pieces that we just sewed together. And you wanna make sure the two right sides of the fabric are facing one another and you're just going to sew all the way around the perimeter. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could also hand stitch this. I'm a little hesitant to suggest gluing it because it is going to be at your nose and mouth for most of the day. So I don't know if you want to be inhaling glue all day. So um, if you don't have a sewing machine, I would recommend hand stitching it. It doesn't require any fancy stitches. It's completely doable by hand. Of course, it's quicker with a machine. So this is what we have. Now what we're going to do is turn it inside out using one of these flaps. If you wanted to clip the curved part of the mask, you could do that as well. It's really not necessary. You'll see that it ends up having a great shape the way it is. You could use something like a pencil or your scissors to help turn those corners out there but you will see that um, those are going to end up being folded over anyway for those of you who aren't familiar with the walking dead it's based on a graphic novel about a zombie apocalypse i know 
when I first heard about it, I thought I wasn't going to like it either, but the writing on the show is really excellent. So, so now we are completely, well, we're not completely done. We have a couple of things left to do, but this is the inside of the mask. And here is the outside of the mask. As you can see, there is st still space for you to put the filter in, but if you did the pattern the way it's supposed to be done, it would be easier to put that pattern, the filter in and out. So I'm going to take some unused hair elastics and I'm just going to give them each just a little stretch. I'm not trying to break them, I'm just trying to loosen them up. Then I'm going to put it close to the end and I'm going to fold over the piece of fabric at the end. And then I want to sew right there. I do not want to sew the elastic band down to the mask. I want to sew around the elastic band, so I only want to sew fabric to fabric. Okay, so that side is all done and now I'm just going to do the same thing to the next side. And there we have our mask. Now if you wanted to, you could top stitch all along the outside and that would also help give it a more finished look. So now we're going to put the mask on. It's a lot easier to put on than I make it seem. I was just trying to work around my hair. And that's what it looks like. So we're not done with our mask yet. There's a space at the top where there shouldn't be. So on the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make a seal all the way around. Also how to put wire at the top to help it form to your nose. And we're gonna make the filter as well. So please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss part two. Take care everyone and I'll see you soon, bye.